I haven't really made a, a video for a while. Um, I've, I've thought of um, quite a few things to talk about, but um, you know, I've never really, f you know, nothing's really entered my head with with enough um, with enough emphasis on it for me to want to talk talk about it. And uh, you know, maybe there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, I mean, one, I think I'm going through a bit of a change, and I just. You know, I, f I find kind of arguing with anybody or trying to put m my point across is just, it's kind of boring, you know, I, ju I just don't want to do it anymore. And, and I think once you you get to a stage where you're kind of, where you're kind of um, happy with, with your thought process, you know, obviously you, you want to modify it over time and, you know, you, you pick things up, but you're not interested in arguing with people um, in a kind of a trolling session sort of thing. Uh, and once you get to that stage, you know, it's just kind of, I think you can learn to be comfortable with your own thoughts. You know, I, I don't necessarily think I hold um, all of my beliefs are correct or have the correct basis for holding them. But, um, you know, I'm getting to a good stage where I'm kind of happy with the, the thoughts that I hold. Um, I guess one of the things I could talk about is, um, and I've, I've touched upon this in previous videos, is the use of psychedelics. Um Last year was probably the first time that I, that I came across the mushroom Amanita muscaria. That's the red and white, uh, the red, the red sort of uh, toadstool with the white spots. Uh, it's one of the most commonly sort of recognised mushrooms, and it's probably the basis for the Mario games and you know the Alice in Wonderland books and that kind of thing. And um, you know, I, I I haven't eaten them to such a large extent that I've actually. Um, you know, I've had a, a, you know, that I've tripped out or anything like that. But I, I've been eating them on a regular basis when they're in season for the last couple of years, and I, I eat, um, you know, I don't know. I was talking about this today. I, I might eat maybe four or five grams um, b before bed. And what what I found with that is, is it gives you um, tremendous. Uh, what I would call it, I don't know if somebody's coined this phrase already, but it's what I would call uh, neural plasticity. And what I find with that is it, it really sort of um, it calms calms my mood out and really sort of um, removes any sort of um, any element of depression if there's any there at all or anxiety or anything like that. And I would say it kind of sets sets my mind to a you know almost like a still lake where. Uh, you know, as with most people, you have a constant dialogue running through your head, and I think we all, we all kind of underestimate how much that actually goes on. You know, and when you learn things like meditation and things, you realise that you you're not actually your thoughts. You know, and, and and most people probably think that they are their thoughts, but once you learn to actually switch thoughts off, um, you realise you're still there without your thoughts. Now, eating these mushrooms on a regular basis. I just find that uh, my thought process is, is very, um, very still. So I can go for large periods of time without having any particular thoughts. I, I find myself, I mean, I sat in the garden probably for three hours or something. I had a little fire going on and um, it just got darker and darker. But, you know, at times I just kind of forgot I was outside. And I don't think this has anything to do with, you know, um, the, the sort of the... The, the 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 sort of the trip side of things, you know, it's not that I've eaten too many and that I'm sort of, um, you know, I'm I'm tripping out a bit or anything like that. It's just more sort of a, a a much more a much greater contentedness. But what I also feel and what I mentioned before about the neuroplasticity um, is that uh, my dreams are extremely sort of um, how do you describe? They're extremely different. You know, I'm having um, probably normal normal dreams whereas my dreams are often a bit weird um, but dreams about things that have sort of bothered me for long periods of time and I see things in a new way and d during the day you know I'm having much better conversations with people around me I'm, I'm shedding off a lot of old memories I'm speaking about things I've never spoken about um, not that I've deliberately concealed these things but they're just I think we all bury sort of memories and things like that but then you know at, at the moment, they're just kind of popping off, and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm speaking and speaking of them sort of matter of factly and objectively, and not really, um, you know, placing too much weight on them. And, and I think really, 
you know, a lot of these memories probably don't have that much weight upon them. We, we just, we think they do, so we, we don't speak of them. And also, um, I'm finding at the moment that I can just, um, I'm changing, you know, huge habits which I've held for a lifetime and things which I've in the past consciously realized that I need to change. And so, I, you know, I've done the groundwork over years. This isn't just sort of a magic... Um, uh, a, a magic mushroom that, that you would take, you know, it's not just a magic pill that you would take and, it, you know, it fixes everything for you. But if you're sort of spiritually minded and you're doing the work and you're aware of these things, you know, I, th I think it really helps to facilitate the things. And what I also like about them as well is, you know, they're, they're actually in season right now, you know, that you, you can find them in forests and things. Um, if, if you know, you know, if you know the, the places to look or if, if you're lucky enough to stumble upon them. And um, what I what I actually do is um, I peel off the red skins uh, because when you put these in the oven, uh, which is what I do, just to dry them out so that they'll last longer if I need to keep them for a long period of time. Uh, if you keep the skins on, then the, the red uh, skin just kind of melts everywhere and make, makes a complete mess. Uh, but I'll just dry them out and I'll keep them in a little container and I, and I eat a few, you know, every every night. Sometimes I'll have some in the morning, sometimes in the night. And uh, yeah, I think it just kind of tops things up and uh, I felt great for um, the, the last few weeks, a month or so as, as I've been doing them now. And um, it just kind of really hit me the last few days uh, as to what what sort of effect they actually have on, on me. And it's similar to, I think it's either reishi or changa mushrooms. I've, I've heard somebody talk that they have a similar kind of effect. And... I think kind of, you know, mushrooms in general, especially, um, you know, there are certain kind of mushrooms, like severe reishi and things like that, which kind of, um, I, I believe they, I've never had any of those, but I believe they feed on sort of dead trees and things. But I, I believe they have the, you know, their function is to kind of break up matter and dead material. And I almost feel it works on a similar basis on, on the brain, you know. It breaks up a lot of the junk that you've got in there and it, it almost kind of, whether it intelligently or just, you know, whether it just kind of breaks things up um, in your mind in general. And it, um, you know, it allows these things, you know, kind of gives a shake up, up in there and it allows you to just sort of uh, shake off some of these, um, some of these old things. And uh, no, it's got, I feel, you know, over the last, over the last few weeks, I've made uh, fantastic gains and it's um, something, you know, it's, it's, it's really increased my appetite towards uh, mushrooms and mushroom hunting. So yeah, I just wanted to share that. Um, okay. Thanks guys.